You probably see their faces every day, but things have changed. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 meme stars, where are they now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most prolific memes featuring real people and digging deeper to find out what they're up to today. Number 10. Disaster Girl In 2004, Dave Roth took a photo of his daughter smiling in a sinister way in front of a live house fire drill, and years later, uploaded the picture online. Zoe Roth has been henceforth known as Disaster Girl, or Firestarter, and her image has been photoshopped onto countless other calamities, implying she took part in causing them. Now Zoe is a teenager, and as of 2016, when she spoke with Refinery29, was a math whiz and Mandarin student going into her junior year of high school. Number 9. What Does the Fox Say, Guys? In the fall of 2013, we were all deeply annoyed by the whole what does the fox say thing almost as soon as it started. What does the fox say? The creators of the video, a Norwegian comedy duo called Ilvis, were immediately everywhere, which isn't surprising considering their The Fox was racking up hundreds of millions of views and led to a best-selling children's book. Since 2013, they've faded from worldwide public acclaim, but they have continued to work, putting out an album and in 2018, even launching a TV show called Stories from Norway that is part mockumentary and part musical comedy. Number 8. Bad Luck Brian This guy's hilariously awkward high school yearbook photo made him famous. This became one of the most commonly used memes starting back in 2012 when Ian Davies submitted the original iteration of the meme to Reddit. The photo he used was of his friend, Kyle Craven, who henceforth became known as Bad Luck Brian. Craven has come forward to confirm his identity and answer questions on Reddit. He claims to have actually had pretty good luck once having won an Xbox 360 and a PSP in short succession. He's appeared at conferences signing autographs and now works for his family's construction firm. Number 7. Ridiculously Photogenic Guy Yeah, let's just say that's not how we look when we run. Zeddy Little was just minding his own business, participating in the Cooper River Bridge Run in 2012 when a photographer snapped this supercomposed picture at a perfectly opportune moment. He was the one, he was actually just looking straight at the camera, smiling, the sun was hitting his hair as it was just oh, flowing God. in the wind. But... As soon as the photo made its way online into discussion forums, Little was dubbed, of course, ridiculously photogenic guy. He soon did the media circuit sharing his story and informing his new army of fans that, unfortunately for their romantic dreams, he was in a happy and committed relationship. But Little isn't capitalizing on his fame too much these days. He's keeping a low profile, working in restaurant management. I, I kind of feel honored to be part of like a joke that's in good spirits, you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes the internet can be a little vicious or, you know, you know, jokes can get bent the wrong way. That's but true. these are all kind of for the most part positive. Number six, first world problems woman. What do you think it's like to be the face of first world problems? Ask Italian actress Silvia Bottini, because she's been living it for years. A stock image of Bottini shedding a tear has been used to encompass every trivial white person problem the internet can come up with. But the real-life glamorous Bottini is barely recognizable as first world problems woman, and is a working thespian, and model of course, in Los Angeles. She's appeared in numerous productions, particularly plays, and doesn't publicly discuss her internet fame. Number 5. Scumbag Steve Sometimes you're just a guy trying to promote your rap game and your image ends up becoming symbolic of stoner brodom across the internet. That's what happened to Blake Boston, also known as Scumbag Steve. The original photo used in the meme was taken by Boston's mother and ultimately took off online. Hey, Blake Boston itself is a memeable name, really. Who showed up and drank all your beer? Scumbag Steve, Scumbag Steve. He's since put a pause on his rap career and doesn't regret his internet notoriety and prominence, including using his Twitter feed over the years for political advocacy. I think the original person who made up Scumbag Steve was gonna act, was actually trying to ruin me, because you know, I'm, a, I'm an aspiring hip hop artist, I'm trying to be something like, do hip hop. Often mentioned in the same breath as Scumbag Steve is good guy Greg, but the man behind this image remains a mystery. Number 4. Hot Convict 
Most modeling careers don't start with a mugshot, but this one did. After police in Stockton, California posted Jeremy Meeks' mugshot online, people quickly dubbed him Hot Convict because of his piercing blue eyes and chiseled jaw. When he got out of prison, he began modeling in both print and on the runway, and has appeared in fashion magazines like Vogue. Jeremy rocked an all-black ensemble for his big debut, but we couldn't stop gazing at his piercing blue eyes. As of 2017, Meeks was in a relationship with Chloe Green, a British retail heiress. The two have a child together, born in May of 2018, Jaden Meeks Green. The entertainment world, the fashion world, I just thank you for accepting me and believing me and taking me on for who I am, and uh, it keeps me pushing. Number three, Irma Gerd. Sometimes a girl just wants to pose with her collection of Goosebumps novels and not be turned into a viral meme, okay? So you might be disappointed to learn that the origins of Ermagerd Gersperms might not actually be as authentically dorky as you imagined. Maggie Goldenberger, the girl who appears in the picture, was actually just goofing around with her friends and dressing up in silly costumes when the pic was snapped. It wasn't until many years later that it ended up a viral sensation. Today. Goldenberger works as a nurse in Arizona and largely goes unrecognized. I didn't expect that. <laughs> it just keeps coming up and again and again. I thought, you know, okay, this is going to be funny for a week and then it just keeps keeps growing. I just don't know why. Number 2, Success Kid. Whenever you need to send a message of determination and victory, you can always fall back on Success Kid. But hey, it can work as an image of frustration too. It contains multitudes. And in real life, this little boy, now very young teenager, has used his internet fame to create some genuine successes. Sammy Griner is the little boy from the Success Kid meme, and the confident photo of him with a fistful of sand, taken on a beach in 2007 when he was 11 months old, has been spread far and wide, including in ads. He and his mom used his popularity to help raise money online to help with the cost of his father's 2015 kidney transplant. The family was able to sell thousands of products with the meme to raise money for the surgery. It's a game changer to see my dad alive. Number one, overly attached girlfriend. Girl, girlfriend, girlfriend, I will be your girlfriend. I will be your girlfriend. I will be your girlfriend. You may not realize it, but this meme actually started as a YouTube video created for a contest. Lena Morris created this parody of one of Justin Bieber's hit songs, Boyfriend, but her lasting legacy, of course, is the enduring, overly attached girlfriend meme that resulted. Like some other meme stars, Morris decided to optimize on her potentially short-lived fame while she could, and according to Business Insider, she amassed in the six figures from her internet notoriety. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, don't follow me in real life. She appeared on shows like Jimmy Fallon's and has continued to post successful YouTube videos, including in the same character. I have a boyfriend, and it's it's getting pretty serious. Um, we've been together for like two days. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.